Hello everybody, this is YDYT, and I would like to welcome every single one of you back to a brand new episode of Minos Craft. So, I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, but Optifine is out for 1.12, which is brilliant. We've got gorgeous skies, and we can have a look around, and everything is just looking so great. And then, also, I've installed... I believe it's Vader's item stack texture pack thing. I'm giving it a go, seeing how I like it. So, I'm not sure when you guys are seeing this. Because right now in England, it is pure death. Like, it, the temperature is absurd. And unfortunately, I can't record with a fan on. So, I am in so much sweat right now, just from the one minute or so of this video already, which is kind of crazy. But I've still been playing on here a bit since the last one, and we've got a little bit done. I want to just remove that, and do that, and do that. Like that? Like that. Uh, no. Like that. Like that yes okay we're back okay so i've done a little bit since the last one we've got this full corridor set up which i'm thinking it's pretty nice it's just the same as the other one and then at the end we've just got a little entrance way here for me to be able to get in oh good timing mr slime so it's pretty great the farm's been running well i haven't been afking at all but we've got plenty of slime balls anyway i've decided we're going to be putting our tree farm here and the reason for that is because it has to be to the east, which is that way. So it's going to put it on that side, but then it doesn't, like, orientate exactly the same. And I'm not sure if it's going to be wrong then, and I don't want to find out. So we're going to have our storage for wood types here, our input here, and then our tree farm here. That block is going to be where the dirt is. However, building that on camera is going to be an absolute nightmare because I'm going to be sweating to death. So, I'm not really too sure what I want to do. Directly above us right now is a skeleton spawner, which I think could be really, really useful if we wanted to use it for something, like, to be able to, um, like, get bones for this farm we're working on right now. I'm not sure how high it is, though. I don't think it's at an appropriate Y level for us to use it, but it should just be up here somewhere. I'm not 100% sure where. Uh, there we go. Just up here. I don't think that's within 16 blocks, though. Let's see, what Y level are we at? We're at 46 here. And down here we are at... Let's see. 21. So no, it would have to be at 37 if it were to be in range. So, I'm still thinking we make a farm, because we do need bone meal for this to work. So, I'm going to get stuff together to be able to make a farm. We won't make an XP one, we'll just make a hit them and they die sort of thing. Or, the, the hard drop, that's what I mean. Uh, so, I'll get stuff together for that, and then we'll be back. Okay guys, so I've started digging out a giant hole here. And we're going to have this one go down pretty well to the roof of our like main main starter area thing of the bunker, like the, the big room, you know what I mean. So we're pretty well directly above it, so my plan is to have this go down to there, have rails on the roof of that with a minecart just hopping around every now and then, and uh, magma blocks on top of that just in case anyone has armor and managed to get through. Let's see, where is this first block? Just here, it's here. Uh, so that's my current plan for how we're going to be sorting that out but I just wanted to thank you guys for the absurd growth because I think we're currently on 176 subs which is absolutely bonkers I think that I was on about 107 this time last week which is just a little bit of growth like okay it's actually insane uh, so thank you all so much for coming to join me. I hope you guys will enjoy your stay with us. 
And because there were so many new people, I started thinking about how I want to carry on with this series. So, uh, as you know, I'm a big fan of Wells Knight, and Kingdoms is sort of an inspiration for this. Not really, because we do a lot of different things to what Wells does in Kingdoms, but it's a similar sort of, like, survival single-player sort of thing. Uh, however, Wells, every 25 episodes, does a world tour, which is pretty cool. And I was thinking about it, and I thought, hey, I'll do a world tour every 25 episodes, which is great and all. But then I started thinking more, and I do currently an episode a week, which I'm hoping to change soon. The only reason that it didn't change this week, actually, to two a week is because the heat it means it's almost impossible to record. But I'm hoping to up it soon. But currently, it's what a week, which means it takes almost six months for us to get around to a world tour. And I don't think that's great. So I was thinking about it, and because of that, I was wondering, do you guys rather see a world tour every 10 episodes? Because we're currently on 8, which means very soon we'd be up to 10. So we'd be doing a tour soon. So I'm wondering, would you guys prefer to see that? Because I do do a lot of con like a lot of stuff in each of my episodes. So I feel that it wouldn't be like you're missing out or anything. Like, on content sort of thing. I'm sorry if that doesn't make any sense. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty well everything. But uh, I'd just like to have asked your opinion on that. Would you guys like to see more, or like a world tour every 10 rather than every 25? Uh, I'll actually do a poll up in the top right. Right about now you guys will see the poll. And I'd really appreciate if you guys did... Give me your opinion on that. So, I'm now going to get some redstone blocks and some rails and all that stuff. And then some magma blocks. Let's see how many blocks are this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, 81 blocks. That should not be too bad. So, I'm going to get all of that together. And then we'll be back. So guys, we're coming out here to grab some magma blocks. This is so that in case a mob with armor spawns and thinks it's cool and isn't going to die from a hard drop. Uh, I'm really hoping that it's never going to happen where a mob has, like, too much uh, armor and, like, has fire prot or something on it and then just takes ages to die because that'll take up the mob cap a tiny bit, but hopefully it won't be too detrimental. Um, I'm not sure if we want to have a toggle for this farm. You guys tell me down below, actually, if you think it would be good, because obviously I'm not AFKing tons of my other farms, because I've already got tons from each of them. So it's not, like, a big deal if we're getting reduced drops from them because of a little farm like this. But, yeah, lots of questions for today's episode. Which, hopefully, looking at how we're currently going, I think it should be up on time. You guys already know that whether it's up on time or not, and then I'm just having this internal drama about whether it's going to be. So I'm going to get all of this sorted out, and then we'll be back. Alright guys, so I've got a super simple uh, item unloader here. And there's a torch on the back of that block, by the way, in case you want to replicate this. And then we've just got a hopper chain going down into the chest that this one's going to be. So, now I think we're just going to put magma blocks down like this, except... Yeah. Hmm. Okay. It's a problem. Because the cart can't go up the block unless there's a block here. So I guess we'll just fill in this corner. It shouldn't be too detrimental. I should have thought ahead of that, but it's too late now. So I'm going to get all of these magma blocks in place. And then we'll get a minecart on the track and we'll just check that all of this is working all right. Okay, so the whole farm should be up and running now. I'm waiting to see some blocks come down here. Uh, I've stood up there a little bit. And hopefully we'll get some bones down in these chests soon. If not, I'll have to investigate. But I'm going to get a proper staircase up so we're on the right Y level. And then we'll AFK for just a little while. Oh, they're here. Okay, great. So 
that means it's working. We're getting bones and arrows. So I'm going to clear out all of this junk from in here because I've just been using this as a junk chest while it was inactive, as these are active and these two will be soon. So I'm going to get all of this cleared out and everything and get the staircase up there and then we'll be back. Okay guys, so we've got the spawner right here and we're just going to be AFKing on this side of the wall. And then I guess we'll just put up a little barrier just to make sure in case any nasty spawn that we're not going to be interrupted. So that looks all good. And I think we're going to do a small AFK session here. Uh, let's say, let's, let's look at the clock. Uh, let's say we're going to do 20 minutes. So I'm going to just sit here, I guess, and we'll be back in 20 minutes. All right, guys, welcome back. So my timer says it's been exactly 20 minutes. So let's head down here and hopefully we'll have something exciting to show. So let's see. Okay, that is actually really good. Like those rates are very good. That was 20 minutes of AFKing. So I think we're totally fine on bones, which means we can get this farm going, which means this and this and this, and this can be put to use. So I'm planning on carrying on the bunker theme into the room. So we're going to be having these walls in here. We'll probably just actually keep the whole room this. I believe this is just the grey. Yeah, grey concrete. That's the one. And I think that'll look pretty decent. It's not something I want to be looking at too much. Because, you know, I should be AFK while in there. So hopefully that'll be looking good and working well. We've got our nice roof carrying on up into here. And here we're gonna have chests, except the only issue is we can't open chests with concrete above them. So I'm thinking about quartz stairs as a contrast block, but that's the only thing I can like really think of all that much. So if you guys have an idea for that, it would be appreciated indeed. So, I'm pretty happy with all that. I actually just want to check how we're doing for rates in here. Okay, gunpowder stacking up, strings starting to get there. We need to do another trading session. Okay, we definitely need to do another trading session. Um, do I have a crafting table? I'll quickly craft up some melons, and then I guess we'll start working on our tree farm. Okay guys, so I was going to ask you guys, what do you guys think about the topic of backlogging? Because I'm actually going to be going away soon, uh, from the 13th of July to the 16th of August, which is quite a while. It's a full month, basically. A little over it, actually. Uh, so the reason I'm asking is because I think I would be able to get all of our videos done However, it's whether they'd be done to a standard I would be happy with is the major question. As, like, I try to set myself a level of standard which I try to stick to throughout these episodes, and I know I haven't always been able to keep that level up, unfortunately. So, um, I don't know how good it would actually be for me to do that and have four or five really rushed episodes. So I'm thinking about maybe backlogging one or two, uh, keeping up the same level of standard. I'm not sure if that's particularly doable though. Uh, so I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. And also on the topic of um, me being away, I was wondering what you guys think I should do about maybe making a vlog while we're away. Because uh, a lot of stuff's gonna be happening and I can outline it all in the future if you guys want, when we're like, confirmed whether we're doing a vlog or not. So, yeah. But the thing with a vlog is, I don't know if it would be great to like, have a vlog with my current level of standard, because I'd have to be recording it on my phone, because I don't have like, a proper camera or anything like that. However, my phone does have a good camera, so it wouldn't be the end of the world. So, you guys tell me what you think about that, because I feel that it's something I'd like to give it a try, but I don't know if it would be something you guys would actually enjoy watching. So, yeah, tell me about that down below as well. Lots of questions from today's episode. So, I think we're gonna get a bunch more stuff together, and we'll get going on our farm. 
All right, guys, we are back and I've started working on the farm in here. So we've got quite a reasonable amount of it done. We've got all this fancy redstone stuff and all of this and that and whatever these things are and these and ooh, this and loads of redstone stuff is here. But unfortunately, because of the weather and how late I am actually am on this video already, it's not going to be able to be done if we want to get the video up on time, which is really unfortunate. Where's there a slime? Um, which is really, really unfortunate because I wish I could get it done. Okay, so slime chunk up here. Good to know. So I wish I could have this done on time, and I'm sure you guys wish it were done on time as well, however, it just doesn't seem to be happening, so I'm really sorry about that. Uh, the video is out on time, but not what we wanted to have done in it. So I think we're actually just going to round this one out here, rather than trying to fit more in in the very limited remaining time. So if you did enjoy, please do drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Peace!